This project is called Selection Tools. Uh, this is going to be the first introduction to Photoshop. And one of the main things you need to do is select things because then it gives you other options depending on uh, what you want to do. So again, this is the file it would look like when you download. Okay. So I'm just going to go back to Canvas and I'm going to go to this assignment here. Um, on the day of the assignment, I'll again introduce it, but if you're watching this later, you click on modules here and right up here is this Photoshop tutorial for selection tools. Okay. And you're going to do is actually click on this link. So you're clicking the link below to download the Photoshop file to start with. Okay. So click on this link. And what you're going to do is you're actually going to click. It looks like the one I just opened up when I started. So you're going to click on download here. Okay. It's going to download that file. Okay. And then we're going to, uh, once we download it, to so minimize everything, we want to open up Adobe Creative Cloud here. And you're going to open up Photoshop. If a Creative Cloud is not working or you don't see Photoshop or it's not opening, let me know because that way I can uh, try and get this any issues handled. Okay. Now we're going to go to, we just downloaded it, so we're going to open here. So we're going to click on our files. Yes, so on our computer. And, and now we're going to go back to downloads. So we should have this lesson one selection tools right here and you click on open okay so let's just open up the um, file exactly what you did here okay and this little bar gets in the way and you just bring it down so so you have to make sure these things are set um, make sure your essentials is checked if it's not make sure essentials checked here and then we can actually just um what we're going to do is actually select the different coins and actually blur out the money should be pretty easy. so we have the different tools here on the sidebar and they do different things so this one actually is the one selected right now as a selection tool it selects us with a rec rectangular marquee or rectangular square okay i'm going to click and hold it down because these are coins and they need to be a circle so we're going to use the ellipse tool okay and i'm just going to click and i'm going to start with a quarter here so clean the corner and drag it. It's going to be a ellipse shape. If you actually just drag it out in shape. But if I hold the shift key, it's going to force me to create a perfect circle. And so you can be about right there. Let go of the mouse first and then let go of the shift key. Then I can move that onto. And if you don't like it, you can actually click um, select and deselect here. So you can try that again. So like mine is a little bit different. So again, you're going to click and then hold the shift key and create a perfect circle here. I'll just make it bigger and then I can drag it where I want to. Okay. And now I'm going to go up to edit, uh, copy, and then edit, paste. So it basically makes a new layer. And I'm going to rename that, click on layer one on the words here and call it quarter. Yeah. And then click enter. Now I'm going to do the same thing with other different coins there. So I'm just going to grab the ellipse tool, right? So with this hold shift key and I got the nickel here. So I can do the same thing. Edit. Copy. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, this might happen. Actually, what you need to do is actually you need to make sure this background here is selected every time you actually go to copy and paste. So if you don't, that little message kind of come up every time. So copy and then paste. Then this one I'm going to create is called, I can double click on it and called nickel. Yep. Click enter. Now back to uh, the highlight the background. Now I click on another ellipse tool. Click and drag, but I'm hold down shift key to create a perfect circle here. And then it's going to I'm drag it onto like the dime here. Now I can create edit, copy and then edit, paste. Okay, so it makes a new layer, so I can call it dime. Yeah, and then I click back on background. So every time I do this, I'm gonna click back on background. Then the ellipse tool again, and I can click the other dime. Hold the shiki down to create a perfect circle, because these coins are perfect circles, so that makes it easier to 
work with. So again, edit, copy, and edit, paste. And so I've got a new letter. So I can call this like maybe uh, dime two. Okay. So now I can click back on background here again and I click on the, uh, I have this selection tool again. So I click here on my screen, hold the shift key down, to create that perfect circle here, and then drag it on to where I want to that run this penny. And I click on edit, copy, and then edit, paste. So this one, I can rename it as Penny. Okay. And the last thing I'm going to do is click on this background tool. Because now I create other different layers. And what I'm going to do on the background here is actually blur that out. Okay. So I'm going to click on um, Filter. And Blur right here. Blur, the second one. And then I click on this. Gaussian blur. That's what it's called. Gaussian blur. Then I get to uh, 3.0 here. So it kind of blurs out the money. But the coins are on their own separate layer. So it's not going to be blurred. Okay. And so you see the coins are in focus, but the miller is blurry. Okay. So that should finish it. Now we're going to actually save that. So save as. And what I'm going to do is just put in my downloads folder. So now if I want to call it like um selection i can just call it selection so it makes sure a different name there then i can call it okay and save i have to click okay if i don't click okay it's not actually going to save okay and now i can actually go back to um canvas and turn it in it's very so much like um in any other classes like math class you've actually completed your math worksheet but you need to turn it in to get a grade so this is kind of like your turn again so click on the start assignment here, upload, and choose, and you're going to go back to find that, you just name it selection, okay? Selection, and you can go up, up, upload, and submit. So it's like you're turning in your paper, okay? And then you should see like some confetti. Uh, congratulations for turning in, and that should finish it. Thank you.